we've got some redneck ingenuity going on right now. Uh, this tractor, I'll show you here in a second, but I'm towing a tractor. The front axle's broke. And uh, we've got the loader up on top of the, the flatbed. So there's no weight on that front axle on the tractor. We're just moseying our way down state line. And yeah, so if you can see, maybe you can see there. But we're making our way. Kind of see it in the mirror. So the, the bucket's on the back of the flatbed. We've got enough weight off them tires that it's just the, the rear tires on the tractor that are got any weight on them. Yeah. I'll show you guys more once we get up the machine shed, once we've actually made our journey, so it's going pretty well. Pretty excited about it. So the axle fell off right as we pulled into the barnyard here. There's just yeah, that fell off, but this is what we did. So we just used the loader here in the front and chained it down there and rode it on some tires. Just use the in order to pick the front end up and drug it here. So we got this Massey Ferguson 175 all blocked up and uh, I figured I'd show you guys what I'm doing here. So like I said, the axle snapped in half. Um, I don't know, it happened five, six years ago on my dad and just kind of sat around and my cousin decided he wanted to buy this from my, from my uncle. So I told him I'd try to fix it up for him. So this is the one part of the axle that fell off when you we were bringing it back up to the shop here. As you can, as you can see, it snapped right there where the where it pivots at. So this side's off and I got to, I'm working on this side. So I just had to pull this bumper, I guess what you could call it. So I pulled that off and I took the tire off this side and then I just got the, the axle propped up on all these jack stands and there's a pin so there's a pin in here that I need to pull out so I can get that other side of the axle off and then we'll and we'll see if we can't clean it up and get it welded up and maybe put a little bit extra metal on there to make it a bit stronger and see if we can't get it welded up and put it back together get her working again so that's what the project is today and uh Sure it's going to turn into a bit more than what I think it will, like it always does, but we'll keep working on this and see how far we can get. The only other thing I had to do, I didn't tell you guys, I just had to disconnect this tie rod. And so we got that disconnected. Now, like I said, we're just going to work on getting that pin out so we can pull this other half of the axle out. And then I think once I get it out, I'm going to see if I can't get these bolts undone and pull this solid piece out because it'll just be a lot easier to work with just this little piece of an axle there than working with all this here. At least, you know, getting it lined up and trying to get it as straight as I can. So we'll keep on chugging along. Okay, so we got this solid axle pulled out and it just left us with this piece here. This is the piece that we need to fix. I don't know, it looks like it's already been beefed up once. I don't think this was in here. I think this is the original piece, this horseshoe piece, and then they added this square tubing in there just to try to beef it up. And so, yeah, we'll see. We'll get the other half off and decide what we want to do. So I think first off, I'm gonna undo these bolts here and pull out this solid axle. And that way it'll just be easier for me to work and get this thing pulled out. So let's take these two bolts off and then Pull our solid piece out and go from there. Right out. There we go. Good job, Jake. There we go. 
was just going to get more supply. Oh, it's good. Yeah, let's do that like that, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now we got that solid piece out. This is in rough shape too, this one is. The whole thing's in rough shape. <laughs> so, okay, next step's gonna be pulling that pin and sliding this other half of the axle out. So I don't know if it's really gonna be that easy, but there was just two little cotter pins in this pin here. So there's two cotter pins in here, one on the top and one on the bottom. And then I'm thinking that I pulled them pins out and I can slide this, that pin out. And I think I can slide the bigger pin out. That's at least that's what I'm hoping. I'm gonna give it a try. So this pin came out. Like I said the car keys came out and it just slid out of the, right out here, out of the bottom. So I slid out of there. Like I said, I'm hoping this pin will slide out now. There, there we go, guys. This pin sliding right out. Luckily, it was greased real nice and wasn't too much of a hassle. So, I seem to pick up on this end of the axle to take the weight off of it, and I'll slide it the rest of the way out. I guess I can use my other, my other jack stand here. Oh. Okay, I'll put you down for a second. All right, so like I said, I just gotta pull this pin the rest of the way out, and I think this axle should come with it. I just couldn't do it with one hand, so. Let me just get adjusted first. There we go. Come on, baby. All right, there's our, there's our pin. And our axle should just come on out. Open. Okay. okay, there's a couple shims. All right, there she is. Axle. Sweet. So there we have it. Like I said, that's where our axle was. Wasn't too bad, actually. I was luckily, it greased that up pretty good before whoever put that back in. Because that wasn't, that wasn't too bad. I could see that sucking if that was rusted and dry. I don't know how, if you'd ever get that out. But we got her. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, it broke apart right here. This little brace broke off here. I'll go around the other side and I'll show you. And you see it just broke all the way around there. So I think it'll, I think it'll fit back together pretty good. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna grind off all these old welds. I'm gonna bevel all this stuff here. So I'll bevel all this metal just so I can get down in there and weld all the way from the back and forward. I'll just do the same, same thing all the way around it. Top, bottom. Yeah, let's see how it goes. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. So I've been grinding on this axle for about 30, 45 minutes or so. So I wanna show you guys what I've got done so far and. So as you can see, I've kind of, I've beveled all this metal out. That way, when I start welding, I'll be able to start welding, you know, all the way down from the back side and be able to weld up. Just get a good, get a good strong weld in there all the way through. So I just got to get it leveled up, get as level as I can, and then as straight as I can, and we'll go to welding. So, yeah, just, a lot of grinding. I had a crack here. And I, right here there's a crack. I ground it up and I'll weld up through there. I'll probably just re-weld some of this stuff over here. I just don't like the looks of it. So yeah, we'll get her tacked up and level and straight 
and we'll go to welding. I think we're ready. I fiddled around with it for a few minutes trying to get it as straight as I could. I was using my square and trying to get it, like I said, as straight as I can. It's not the easiest thing because it's been welded on so many times and there's welds here and there and it's kind of a little bit bent in a few places. But I think for the most part, we got it pretty good. So I think we're pretty, pretty straight this way. Then the hardest part was trying to get it um, level horizontally. Because if you can see, like I said they've added this piece here on the bottom. It kind of angles outwards from the from the center. So I shimmed up the middle there. And then I got a, a little washer on this end, just try to pick up that end a bit. But like I said, I think we've got it pretty level. You know, see there's an earth they added this um extra piece of metal there this has been added you know it's been welded there so yeah she's been patched together a few times i don't think it's ever broke there in the center like it did and uh that'll be interesting to see how this one holds up um but yeah that's like i said that's what we got i tried to bevel it out as well as i could and leave enough metal that i wasn't having huge gaps but yeah, we are pretty much ready. So let's tack her up and get to welding. So here's our first pass. So we went up and around. Back down this other side. Show this other side. So then we came back down through there. Same thing. Back and around. Now through there. So that's pass number one. We're gonna let it cool off for a second and then do pass number two. I think I can probably get that welded up with two passes. So I'll just take them two passes and we'll finish our second pass and I'll put that little angle piece back on and we'll try to hook her back together and call her good. So I got all my welding done. Just want to show you guys real quick how it turned out. And so instead of doing a weave, I just did a couple stringers. I went around, around, and two stringers on top. This one here was the crack. Then here was just the, the weld that I re welded over because I didn't like the look of it. So yeah. Not too bad. So all I got left to do is uh, put on this little angle piece here. So see how this side's already got an angle. I just need to put on this angle. I just cut it off so I can get in here and you know weld there. So like I said, I just got to put this piece back on and we'll be good to. Yeah, just right there. Once I get that piece back on, we'll be good to let it cool down and try to throw it back up in the tractor. So we'll finish this up real quick and be on our way. So we got our brace welded back on. So I'm just gonna let it cool down for a minute and we are thrown back up in there. We go, go for a little test drive, I guess. I just gotta find another tire for the other side because uh, We've got one tire for this side, but this side over here needs a new tire. So I'm gonna just run around and see if we don't happen to have a tire we could use on it. Just at least let him borrow so I can get it out of the shop and get going on some other projects. So we got the axle back in there. It's kind of the pain in the butt. Had to use my, my hands and my knees and this jack stand just to get it up in there and Get it all lined up and but we got our our pin back in there and uh i don't know if you see our little car keys in there or not it's not really wanting to focus up a bit Let's see okay so i think you can see our car keys there one on the top and one on the bottom so that's all it is this holds that um the pin in and it goes inside that other pin that goes through the axle and that slides back into this housing right in front of the engine so 
And we got her in, got her greased up. And so now all we're gonna do is hook everything back together. I'm pretty happy that weld didn't, the weld didn't turn out too bad. I mean, definitely not the prettiest welds, but that was pretty jagged. Pretty jagged uh, break there, so not too, not too upset with how it turned out. So we got our axle up, so we have to slide in our, our hubs there and then solid pieces. We'll put some tires on, connect our, our tie rods back up and get her started and move her out of here. We'll go on to the next project.